welcome to another episode in today's episode it's coming to the back end of winter in uk first signs of spring just starting to show so today's target quarry will be gray squirrel i'll be overlooking one of my feeders in a woodland permission they're an early start i think first light were about half past six in the morning so i got myself tucked up in my hide Got set up, nice cup of coffee to start the day. Thankfully, temperature's risen a little bit, around about 9 degrees on this particular morning. And there's my hide, tucked inside an olive bush. Feeders situated about 20, 25 yards away from my hide. Here's my feeder. It's all filled with wheat. So let's get underway and see what happened. It didn't take long, but probably 15 minutes after first light, my first visitor decided to uh, visit the feeder. Although I'm well concealed in this hide, I still take my time, keep my movements to a minimum, nice and slow, pull rifle into my shoulder. It's prime breeding time for Grey Squirrel in UK, but it's showing a big interest in feeder this morning. Full frontal head shot. That pellet had gone straight through brain, probably severed spinal cord, and travelled straight into the body. As you can see, not even a twitch from first squirrel at the morning. Bluebells just starting to pop through. In a few weeks. All this woodland floor. A bit of carpet of blue. From this next piece of footage, you can see how early morning it really is. This is camcorder footage. And it's still really dark. I'm just waiting for the squirrel to get into a feeding pattern. I didn't want to sit up. It's got its head nice and steady. Tucked into the feed tray. And this is the same footage with ATM 4K Pro. Shot placement for that second squirrel between eye and ear. As you can see, not much movement. And it come to rest inside the first squirrel. I'm happy with how morning's going so far. I'm surprised that they're coming straight to the feeder for the time of year. But you get no complaints from me. As always, it's always nice to watch local bird population benefiting from feeder being in woods. This little robin sticks around for a minute or two. That's a good feed. It is approaching springtime. This signs in woods. This signs with temperature getting warmer. It's a great time to be there. And every little bit of pest control we can do by controlling grey squirrel is going to benefit a whole number of different species of bird. A great morning to be in woods. We've got a nice hide built, it's nice and comfy. I'm sat in an old office uh, leather executive chair. 
They seem to be coming thick and fast this morning. Spotted movement again. Saw a flash of grey dash across woodland floor. Maneuver my rifle into position. It's got it rested on Gen 2 Primos shooting sticks. Slowly put rifle into my shoulder and get ready for my opportunity. Now this squirrel were a bit fidgety. I think that's because there were a couple of bodies already on floor. It runs sure what we're going on. I'm trying to track it and wait for my opportunity. I'm hoping it's going to come onto the feeder and present me with an opportunity. You can see it's got one eye on woodland floor at all times and it is really skittish. Oh, please with that shot. Quick roll over. Yeah, it is in slow motion. If you watch carefully, you can see pellet strike just between eye and ear. Perfect shot placement. I'm really pleased with that. First signs of springs are here. You just see new buds starting to appear on this little tree. Warmer weather's coming. I was just passing some time on at this point. Now watching this cock pheasant. Now they're out of season. Obviously it's coming up to the beginning of March, end of February, beginning of March. So just observing him. Then I noticed on top of feeder, I noticed a stock dove come along on top of feeder. As I've mentioned before, these are protected bird in UK. And it's testament to pest control work that we do. Why these are in abundance on this particular permission. By controlling grey squirrels and giving this protected bird species a fighting chance to bring up a couple of broods this year. As you can see, that male bird. We're displaying courting rituals. I watched these dog loves for about five minutes. And they're beautiful to see. And it's a pleasure to see them at work. It's paying off. At this point, there's three grey squirrels that have come to rest on woodland floor. That generated some interest from other uh, quarry species. A pair of breeding magpies decided to drop in. Took first one, with a front, full frontal body shot. Then had to wait for a, a second opportunity. It is in slow motion. I didn't want to take a shot where it were, because I shot it straight in the beak. I waited for it to give me its chest, which it did. At first magpie bounced on for about five yards, let out a couple of squawks, but then it come to rest. This second one, if you look where I'm placing my shot, just at the top of black wing bar. You have to be careful of them twitches, they're very twitchy birds, very similar to magpies. I'm just waiting for it to settle before I release my shot. That were lights out before it even hit woodland floor. Now this snake shot didn't go to plan. And with squirrels we can all get caught out by the movement. See it just moved here as I took my shot. Which resulted in a clean miss. But thankfully. It stuck around. Aiming just above eye. 
I don't know if it were out. Squirrel was sat. The squirrel started bouncing about and I weren't happy with continued movement. So I were tracking it. Here's camcorder footage. You can see me drop it off top at feeder. Starts bouncing around. It scares the living daylights out of cock pheasant. Tracking it with ATN. I'd stop pressing record at this point. I was just concentrating on follow up shot. There you go. As soon as it comes to rest, you get a second shot. I just made sure the job were done correctly and you mainly. That can happen to us all. I've included footage to show you. That happens to everybody. It's not uncommon. So just make sure you get the coupe de grace and finish it off nice and cleanly. After taking that last squirrel and realising how jumpy the last two squirrels were when they come to the feeder, I decided the best course of action was to go out and have a pick up, recover what had been shot, and then if any more quarry decide to visit feeder, hopefully they'll be more settled. Now I can get off a better shot and make sure that it's done new mainly. First off, I went over to Magpies. That was the first one. Like I say, it bounced off about five yards, but it did come to rest quickly. Then picking up its mate, the second one. I think these will have paired up. They've been a breeding pair of Magpies this season. So it's a fine bit of pest control. That's a couple of broods of Magpies that aren't going to come into existence this year. You can see I'm being a bit wary when it comes to picking squirrels up. I know they, they're dead, they have been for a while. But I don't fancy getting bit by their big teeth. So just take my time. So far, so good. Nice handful of squirrels and magpies there. Time to get back in hide, get a coffee on, and see if anything else turns up. Usually when you have a pick up in woodland, it'll disturb local area for probably about half an hour. So you've got time to have a coffee, relax for a little bit. I was surprised. I think this was only about 15 minutes later. I noticed another grey squirrel. Just foraging on woodland floor in front of the feeder. Usual tactics, take me time, get ready. There's no rush. Here's a little bit of camcorder footage. You can see it just looking around. You can probably smell other squirrels that have been there previously. Size to wander off camera, off camcorder. So I switched to ATM 4K footage. Lovely shot placement. Between I and E again. I have switched over to GSB Exact Heavies, 10.34 grey this morning, and I'm really impressed with them. Uh, they're retaining quite a lot of stopping power. That extra little bit of weight, I think it's clear to see on footage. I do like the 8.44s, but I'll be sticking with GSB Heavies. I did some zero testing, and believe it or not, Point of impact didn't differ whatsoever when I switched over pellets. Been a great morning so far. Plenty of activity in woodland, which has kept the concentration levels up. I spotted more movement. 
I follow my usual routine, get myself ready and wait for my opportunity. Side on shot, just in front of here, pellet will travel through, cross straight through brain. And that's another grey squirrel ink bag. Well, I've been at Eyed now for about three and a half, four hours, maybe. It goes quiet to the side. That's it for this morning. It's been productive enough. More than happy. Well, it's gone quiet for the last hour. So I decided to pack in. I've had a productive morning. Breeding pair of magpies just at the start of spring, so that's perfect for this little woodland. That'll help out all small songbirds. Six grey squirrels. Got a mixture of books and doors, so again, perfect, just before spring. It is prime uh, breeding time for grey squirrels now, so that'll have a really good impact on uh, bird life and flora and fauna in this small woodland. Perfect time of year to take them out, just before breeding season. Overall, perfect session really. Ultimate sporter, shot like a dream. It's time for me to go home, get some breakfast. I can be very content with my morning's work. Before I leave, I'll just check feed leveling feeder. I'll mention a couple of things before I go. I fill my feeders with wheat. Squirrels like it. It's cheapest alternative there is out there. You can use peanuts and they love peanuts, if I'm being honest. But it's unaffordable, price of peanuts. You can't keep topping a 20 kg feed up like this through winter months. Especially when you've got three or four feeders like I have. So I use wheat, as you've seen this morning. They'll come for it when there's no natural food. Makes no difference really. Box of feeding woods, they'll, uh, they'll visit it anyhow. Just quick mention, I've got a branch propped up on side. I don't know if we'll see on some footage, but I shot a couple of squirrels off there. And they use it as a staging post and they, they climb up onto the feeder, gives them easy access. That's a nice little tip for you. Put a fallen branch inside of your feeder, help them get onto the feeder. Where they usually sit. Once they've settled down and get into a feeding pattern, it's time to uh, shoot them. Still plenty of feed coming out at feed tray at front. I'll just checking top. It's gone down, there they are, six, seven inch. Plenty left in there though. That'll be alright for about another three weeks. That's lid back on and secured. Let's get bagged up. Let's get out of here, let's get home.